So then, welcome back once more. It's still week 16 and we're closing in on the end of our fourth month. So let's check out some of the stuff in the game. I'm going to try and run through some of the basic features. So this is Terran Ascension. This is the game we've been working on since the beginning of the year. Um, thanks for checking out this uh, video. All right. So hopefully that's not too loud to drown me out. Um, so, I'm just going to go... Obviously we've got a controls list. We've got options. You can change all of your graphics settings and texture qualities. I might have just put it all to full. It's not, not a very intense game. All the UIs and menus are placeholder. But as you can see, we've used the same graphics for just about everything. Um, just testing the functionality. So, this is version 80. And I'm just going to load the game. Right. So, right now, this is the Earth Station map. You won't be starting here. There'll be a tutorial and a scenario that kicks you off into the quest system. Obviously, that's the sun and that's Earth. So, if you fly up to the station, we'll try and break the game in the first five seconds of the stream. That'd be great. So, as you can see, I haven't got a turret anymore. So... While I'm in the ship, I can buy stuff from the inventory menu. And I can buy fuel, I can repair the ship. And this is where the menu information for the, for the quest will be. I can pay any fines. It says hello, my name, and where I am. If I hit refit, this is a new thing that's just gone in, I can buy a defence turret or a mining laser. And it will tell me if my ship is able to fit that. It's only a thousand at the moment, but that might change. You can also obviously sell them if you don't want it. So, that's that. station for uh, where all the rich people live. I think what we'll do is we'll just um, blast through here. All the maps work like a corridor, so if you go straight, you'll go, get to the low orbit area where the uh, orbital elevator is. So here we are. There are no factories in this area. Uh, just passengers. So if I want to take passengers around the solar system, so I've got a shaky mouse there, um, then all I have to do is go up to the orbital elevator and hit F. It's F for just about everything in the game. Try to keep it simple. So you just fly up and you hit F. And then we can pick up different types of uh, people and take them around the uh, solar system. You get half on collection and get paid half on delivery. There is a cargo limit, obviously, and you can see that going up over here. Um, we're not going to pick up any people, though. Just wanted to show you that. Okay. So, from here, I may as well just go straight to show you the black market trade system. Uh, whenever you're in space, you can actually open up the inventory and it'll show you, he says, oh, well, looks like I'll have to go to the station then. But yeah, it'll show you where, uh, whether the prices are available, what the price are for each item and whether they're available. We'll just go to this black market trader. So here he is. He's in the middle of the fold-in map on every level or every planetary orbit. So obviously we can buy a bunch of stuff here. So I'm going to fill up on weapons and the prices uh, are set by the planet. So if I go to Earth, that has the highest price. So off we go. Now, because I've got a bunch of illegal stuff on me, uh, the police are here in force, so if they see me, they'll fly towards me. At the moment, the uh, the AI navigation area is quite small, 
so they can't really chase me but when we get to release the game it will be the entire area here we've just made it smaller to make the testing easier there's your standard police ship they move pretty slow at the moment again to make it easier for us to test but eventually they'll be quicker than you um, if they catch me they'll charge me the full amount of fines which is up there at the top 1200 credits I'm gonna sell this Whoa! overshot there So, like I say, menu's a placeholder. We're just trying to make sure everything works. So there we go. We made some money. So, let's take a look at some of the other ships. There's a whole bunch of different ships in the game. All of them have different speeds, cargo limits, and so on. If you've been watching my fuel through this, you'll notice my fuel's been going down per planet distance. So I've got 19 fuel now. Again, like I say, it's a corridor setup. So if you fly forwards, you start at the outer orbit and you get into uh, where the main station is. And then if you keep going, you get to the uh, low orbit area. All these camera cutscenes are going to get overhauled soon. Right, so here's the main station, so I may as well buy some fuel while I'm here. And then we'll head on to the shipyard. There's also a number of stations that are factories to produce materials that you'll need to build your station later in the game. So we hit F. And these guys will buy ore and you can sell them. Everything is listed in red. Obviously, I don't have anything. I'm going to buy some fuel. shipyard I can show you the station cool, I keep slipping down in this chair it's too comfortable right so what we got over here is an ore exchange so if I've been mining I can go and trade my ore for processed min minerals and then this one over here is an industry station so I'll just show you that quick hopefully it's not broken again <laughs> see we're still in the middle of testing all this stuff and it's all quite new um, again all of the textures are really bright at the moment and that's again so that we can visually check them better um, when they're actually in the game they'll be a lot darker I think by the time this finishes right so here we are I need to increase the brakes so again these are simple menus just so that we can show what's going on and test it so if I had silicates and carbon I could make one ceramics if I had five of each I could make five it's a simple trade. You exchange items for items. Okay, so I'm going to head over to the shipyard. So, really, the orbital elevators are just a mechanism to pick up people. I don't try. I try not to think about it too much. <laughs> um, so in we come. Whoa! Right. So. If I want to buy the fighter, the trading value for this ship is 10,000. As you can see, we've got some damage, so that devalues the ship. So again, I've got loads of money, so it's not an issue. So I'll buy the fighter. I think there is a bug with the uh, engines being on the wrong side or something, each side. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, right. So this is our latest new ship in the game, the Y fighter. So I'm going to go and fit it with a turret now. Yeah, the bug, which is quite funny, is um, that is the wrong side. <laughs> so it's a really simple bug. So right, if I fly away from the elevator, 
it'll take me back to this map. I should have spawned on the other side, but that's okay. Because we're going to be going backwards anyway. So it makes it quicker for me. Oh, wait. No. No, I was wrong. I take it back. I need to go that way first. I need a turret. just want to show that system working. Um, so we've looked at the way that you can go and trade up and everything. At the moment, it's just a sort of open-ended trading sim. But the quest system is going to uh, flesh all that out and give you more to do. And allow progression through the game. At the moment, the only goal is to make a lot of money um, through the various systems that we've got here. So let's go to refit and buy a turret. I wonder if it worked. Nope. Oh well, I put that in yesterday. Okay. Oh, we have got a turret. You just can't see it. <laughs> Classy. I wonder if it solves itself on load. I know. Nope. Right. So yeah, I found another bug. So yeah, at the moment, all you can really do is do black market trading. There's my black market trader. Mining, which I haven't showed you. Um, trading of passengers. Items using the inventory system at stations. And obviously the processing and construction through factories. And uh, with the quest system, we'll have a storyline which is choose your own adventure based. So um, hopefully that will give you a lot of replayability. But that's all I had to show you today. So we'll be back soon. Um, we're putting out new builds every day, so we'll try and get them tested as quick as we can. And uh, we'll have some more stuff to show you very soon. So thanks again, I'll see you next time.